How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to protect your privacy when apps and devices are tracking you. Now, a little bit about myself if you're brand new to the channel. Uh, I spent a number of years working on the uh, blue team at a very large shopping company uh, doing vulnerability management for them. Vulnerability management for them. Spent six years in the Army Reserves doing cyber operations. And I also did a little bit of red teaming as well uh, as a part-time gig. Um, so that's a little bit about my background. I also make YouTube videos. Here you go. Welcome to my YouTube. Um, currently I do threat intelligence at Recorded Future. So kind of been all over the place. Like I started out as a cable monkey in a data center to where I'm at now doing threat intelligence for various clients. So anyways, we're going to take a look at this video, point out any sort of misleading advice that they give to people and kind of explain how all of this works. So let's take a look at it. We're back, 742, Rosson reports time and more of our special series, Are They Watching You? Yesterday we showed you how ads are targeted directly to you. This morning it's all about who is spying on you and how to protect your privacy. Jeff Rosson is today national investigative correspondent. Hey, Jeff. Hey, chances are you're being watched right now. Great. Hopefully. No, no, we got camera. Camera. I was going to say this. We've got From Amazon to Apple, Facebook to Uber. We send texts day and night. But when you send private messages through Facebook Messenger, reports that Facebook can see them. So is Facebook really reading your messages? Yes. Facebook telling NBC News it may read your conversations looking for images of child exploitation, malware, and terrorism using automated systems, but won't... So let's go back. Let's take a look at what they said right there. Use them for targeted using automated systems so these automated systems this this makes complete sense because i can't even imagine the scale of amazon and how many or amazon sorry facebook amazon too but facebook the the scale of facebook and how many messages are being sent every single second so with let's go from top to bottom so child exploitation they could probably use something like ocr basically any image uploaded through the messenger app is scanned for any children that look like they could be in harm malware that one's pretty easy that one's going to be like hash values of any files you send over. I don't know what they do, but I can only assume they check it against various other or various uh, antivirus vendors to see if it triggers any sort of risks. And then terrorism, I can only assume be keywords. But won't use them for targeted ads. But there's an easy solution. Encrypt your Facebook messages. I had no idea you could do this on Facebook. Yeah, almost nobody does. Okay, so I just wrote to you a regular message on Messenger. Yeah. Hi, Jim. How do I turn this into an encrypted conversation? It's really simple. So you click on my picture. Just click on your face there. Yep. Okay, got All it. Right. Now see where it says secret conversation? Oh, yeah. Just click on that. Okay. Now the message you type to me is going to be private. And I see that lock next to your face. Yeah. So now when I write, hi, Jim, sending it again. It just came in. And now I see that it's secret conversation. It says it right at the top of the message. Facebook cannot see this. No one can. Nobody can see this. Only you and me. And this. That's a load of sh <laughs> I don't know who this Jim guy is. Um, I'll, I'll check out his Facebook after the fact. Uh, but basically, that whole secret messenger thing. Like, I got it right here. I got, I got, I use Facebook. Yes, I'll admit that. Um, so let's go ahead and see what they're talking about. So I'll pull up messenger thing. It says encrypted end to end across all your mobile devices. So that could be a little misleading. Now, the reason why I don't believe this, and this is kind of what zoom got a little bit of a little bit in trouble for is that they said it's encrypted end to end. Well, yes, every message sent through the messenger app is encrypted end to end. It doesn't mean what the term actually means when i send a message on the normal facebook app or a normal messenger app it is encrypted from my phone to whoever i'm sending it to it is like there is no man in the middle attack that could possibly happen between my message to the receiver unless you're facebook and they just admitted that like themselves because facebook is creating that private and public key pair and they're the ones that have the keys to the kingdom so while yes the message is encrypted from me to someone else 
Facebook at the end of the day has those keys. And the same thing with that secret message. The only way I would believe that it's actually possible to send an encrypted message over Facebook is if it asks me to generate my own private and public key pair, which it doesn't. Unless I'm rolling my own crypto and uploading it to Facebook, I do not believe that it is truly end-to-end -end encrypted. Now, you can send encrypted messages over Facebook, over text message, whatever you want to do. And the way you do that is, let's say you want to send an encrypted, a truly encrypted message to like, let's say your mom. Your mom would then create a public and private key pair. She'll post her public key on like a website, on her Facebook or whatever. It says begin public key. I, I forgot what it says, but basically it's just a giant big, or let, let's take a look, let's take a look. So this is begin PGB uh, public key block. And this is the public key that would be generated alongside a private key. So this is something you would post on your website and then your private key, something you'd keep on your machine. So I would write my message out encrypt it with this public key and then send you the generated private message. And it's, it looks exactly like this. It's going to say like begin private message, send that over to my mom. She then takes that and then decrypts it with her private key. And then it's like a two way street. So that's how it could truly happen. So if you were to generate that private message using her public key, I could send that over to Facebook. I could send that to over any medium. No one's going to be able to decipher what that is unless they have that private key. So just an FYI, that th what they're talking about right there is not valid. You too, Uber. So many of us are relying on it to know where we are when we're using it. So the question. I also want to make a note that they're like taking really close ups of this guy's phone. Question. And I just want to enumerate like kind of what this person uses. So many of us are relying on it to know where we are when we're using it. So the question. Question. Is Uber watching your every move when you aren't on the app? No. no. Why is it doing this? Uber was doing this, and when people found out, they were pretty upset. Yeah. And Jim went, Stickley. Went in and fixed it. Said, okay, we're not we'll take a look at anymore. his Facebook. But it still could be being monitored on your phone. You may have actually turned it on without even realizing. By accident. Yeah, so you can go ahead and check your phone, okay. and I'll walk you through, and you okay, can see the setup wrong on yours. So here we are. I'll call this up right here. What do I do? So go to settings. Okay, setting. Dude, face YouTube's Facebook? pissing me the f*** off right now. I hit pause. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy's phone. So go to settings. Okay. So I could see, you know, basic apps right there, flies Delta United, Uber, SAP Concur, so they do their expensing through Concur. Uh, I don't know what that app is right there, SPG for hotels, Gmail, Instagram. So the Gmail, they're pro they probably use G Suite at work. So just, just a thing I've noticed. Settings. Then go to privacy. Okay, scroll down here to privacy. Now yeah. go to location mm -hmm. services. Okay, right on top, location services. Now find the app itself. Find Uber app. Okay, hold on. There's Uber right there. There. Now what's the center? Uh, while using the app, Which so mine's good. That's how it should be. Now, if it says always, you want to change it over to exactly what yours is at. Yeah, switch it to while using the app. Absolutely. That simple. But it's not just apps that could be spying on you. What's the weather? Those popular smart home devices designed to listen to your commands could be listening all the time. So, is Amazon's Alexa listening all the time? Yes. Had no. It's always listening for the wind. And I've always wanted to do a test on this to see if it truly is because, well, yes, it, it, in theory, you know, and Google Homes have to listen all the time for the wake words. I'm just curious, like, what, if it's sending packets when nothing's going on, like, I have one myself, is it communicating with, you know, whatever Amazon C2 is? Probably is. It's probably pulling NTP stuff or whatever, network time protocol. And the company said, but we won't truly know what kind of data it's being sent over because, well, we don't have that key pair. It won't record until it hears it. The problem that we run into is there's so many times you're talking in your house about things that have nothing to do with the wake word, and all of a sudden it just turns on and starts recording. It happens if we're talking about something specific to. And yes, you're. I, I guess all of the information or all of the times you've initiated your smart devices, at least on so you could go back to the very first time you bought that device and you can listen in. Like mine goes all the way back to 2015 and I could just listen to it like right now if I wanted to. What? Oh my God. You guys have just filmed nothing to do with Amazon. And products. it recorded me. Yes, and so now I have that recording and those types of recordings get picked up all day long.
Amazon says it continues to improve wake word accuracy and minimize false responses. But there is a way to delete those conversations off Amazon servers, okay. right on your Alexa app. That easy. Oh, and we're not done yet. Here's something else we all wonder about. iMessage on the iPhone. We're going to answer this question for you. Are they really private? No. Can someone read your iMessages? What do you guys think? No. I think they can. I think they I think can. Someone can read can. them, yes. I think they're encrypted. The answer is no. Yeah, that's right, Al. They are encrypted. Oh. Apple says what? your iMessages are encrypted end-to-end, -end, which... Again, like... Well, yes, because the whole thing with the San Bernard Bernardino shooter back, I think it was in 2015, Apple either, I, I don't know fully, either was unable to or was not willing to give the messages over to the FBI. I don't know which one it was. I think they got a, uh, a subpoena, but I don't know if they actually fell through with it. I don't know. But again, the, the end user is not rolling their own crypto, so... Facebook has the keys. Just an FYI. Which means only you and the person you're messaging can see them. Apple couldn't decrypt your messages even if they wanted to. Even if they got a court order, they yeah. don't have the key. Only you and the other person. <laughs> but here's the one. Like, where is that key stored on my phone? Like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, if anyone knows, at least on iPhones, where is that private key stored? I've never seen or heard of where that is. Yes. Guys, there is one exception. Okay. Send a gossip Listen up. text message right now. If you have your iCloud backup on, the messages go to the cloud. They are still encrypted, but Apple gets a copy of the encryption key, which can unlock your messages, and it is stored on Apple servers. This is not to say Apple does anything with it, but they have it. But there is a way, guys, to make sure they don't have your messages at all. Come on in here. I'm going to show you how to do it. You want to shut the iCloud okay. backup off. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. Right there. Go to settings. settings. Right up top is your Apple ID. Hey, come here, Al. Come okay. here. Al's here. Wait, come here. Al's here. Okay. See, it says Jeff Ross, and that's your Apple right. ID right yes. there, right? Uh -huh. Click on that. Yeah. Do we get his email? Go to iCloud. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Hold on. Jeff Ross, and that's your Apple right. ID right, right. there, right? Uh -huh. Click on that. Yeah. Go to iCloud. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Like, you could... You could barely see his Jeff email Watson, that's Apple hold on right there. I, i'm just really on stuck yeah. on this go to icloud mm -hmm. okay i i'll try to find it and i'll probably post a screenshot then scroll here see my i messages the i won't do that on. we're gonna shut that right yeah. off Hi, disable yeah, mine's off. and now uh -huh. now they can't get your messages that's anymore unbelievable. So they, they can't get them cloud. Pretty i just like how like it's like we did it we 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 are we're security experts now we did it <laughs> it's all right. And by the way, I know this is a lot. Uh, Today.com slash Ross and Reports. Step-by-step -step guide for all of this. They're all, they're all on their desk working on this right now. Exactly. Should your mail be on the cloud or not? I don't have my mail on the cloud. I don't put it. I okay. So, well, anyways, uh, that was my review of this uh, kind of garbage dumpster of uh, how to protect your privacy and apps when devices are tracking you. But hopefully I was able to, I guess... Um, inform everyone of kind of what this is just kind of weird um <laughs> this article is just a weird bit uh but anyways if you enjoy content like this please hit a hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button with the bell notification as well and if you could share this with your friends and let them know like hey this might not be exactly true because <laughs> it's kind of misleading but anyways that's it for this video y'all take care goodbye